Hi, I'm Dr. Anand Navarasala. I'm a rehabilitation specialist, and I'm one of the primary physician providers in the Spine Triage Clinic. I'd like to discuss with you today the dangers of smoking and overall spine health. Smoking cigarettes can lead to increased back pain based on multiple different levels, and I'd like to demonstrate that today using the spine model. As you can see, this model of the spine, there are different bones that are stacked up on one another. These are the vertebral bodies, and in between these bones, there is a disc. This disc provides cushion to the spine in different ranges of motion, and smoking can actually cause breakdown of the disc because there's lack of nutrient exchange, specifically where the bone meets the spine disc. In terms of the disc itself, the presence of nicotine in the bloodstream actually can decrease not only the healing, but also the regeneration of the cells within the disc. Additional mechanisms of action include lack of blood flow to the muscles that surround the spine. These can include muscles on the back of the spine here that can lead to increased pain and discomfort. In terms of quitting smoking and if there's going to be a benefit, there's always a benefit in terms of smoking cessation and your future health. Specifically, at the level of the disc, as we discussed, there's decreased risk of the breakdown of the disc itself, as well as increase ability for the body to regenerate cells within that area. In terms of back pain in the other regions of the spine and anatomy, in terms of the spine in the back here, there is different muscular layers. And because nicotine can alter the size of the blood vessels and the ability for the body to adapt, that can cause increased damage to the ligaments as well as muscles within the spine region. A valuable program through Franciscan Health is Aspire. And this is a program to educate patients on the harmful effects of smoking as well as how to take that step forward in terms of reducing smoking and eventual cessation. Some of the group sessions within that program include history of tobacco, ways to reduce stress, weight, as well as nutrition, as well as the addictions and how they form. In terms of reducing smoking, the most important thing is assessing readiness to change. In terms of back pain and these symptoms, a lot of the progress that you potentially might make during physical therapy and the treatment plan that we outline can quickly be negated if smoking continues. And that's very important to understand early on in this process. Our goal at Franciscan Health is to educate and empower our patients as with any bad habit and replacing it with a more positive and beneficial habit can be very crucial to your success and we can help you get there.